Hey, what's going on everybody? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to get the maximum performance out of your Ryzen powered laptop. This really pertains to the Ryzen APUs, but this can actually transfer over to desktop CPUs also. It'll work from the 2000 series up to the 5000 series. And what you see on screen right now is a Lenovo 2-in-1 with a Ryzen 5 4500U. We have six cores up to four gigahertz. This laptop here also has 16 gigabytes of RAM and along with the 4500U, we have the built-in Radeon 6 graphics. When it comes to these Ryzen APU powered laptops, most of the time, I've tested a bunch of them on my channel, the manufacturer will lower the TDP on that CPU and it's great for battery life, but it's not great for performance. Now going into this, you gotta know when upping the TDP on your CPU, there will be more heat, you're not gonna get great battery life, but we can get this thing to perform much better than it did straight out of the box, especially when it comes to gaming. Now this is not a gaming laptop by any means, but I did want to show you the difference here. We have that Ryzen 4500U, we're at the stock TDP, which on this it sits around 10 to 15 watts. This is Forza Horizon 4 running at 720p low. FPS is in the top left hand corner, and with it set up like this, I'm actually getting an average of around 52 FPS with Forza Horizon 4. But once I take that APU up to 30 watts, as you can see, we're getting a much better frame rate. We got an average of 71 out of it at 30 watts. Same exact settings, Forza Horizon 4, 720p low. The only thing I did was up the wattage on this CPU using a third party application called APU Tuning Utility. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps on getting this set up on your Ryzen APU powered laptop. But before we get started here, I do want to mention that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. And if you're not familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning community. You can basically learn how to do pretty much anything from playing the guitar to pixel art animation, or even learning how to manage your small business. I've been using this for the past few months, and my main interest on Skillshare is actually coding, Python, Arduino, and even learning how to set up and use Docker with Linux. I've actually been using something called Python Coding from Beginner to Advanced by John Harper. He explains everything you need in great detail. And like the title says, this will get you up and running with Python if you're a beginner, all the way up to advanced users. So he's got something for everybody in there. And as for Docker containers, this is something I've actually never messed around with. So I'm taking Docker containers for beginners by Dan Tofen. And the lesson is only six parts. I actually thought this was much more complicated than it is, but he explains it very easily. And I'm up and running with Docker containers now. No matter what you're looking to learn about, I'm sure there's something on Skillshare that'll suit you. From fine art, music and video production, film and video, marketing, illustration, graphic design, creative writing, animation, web development, crafts, and like I mentioned, coding, which is something I'm really big into right now, trying to learn as much as I can from this. So if you're also looking to learn something new, I would definitely check out Skillshare. And luckily, I have a link in the description and the first 1,000 of my subscribers to use this link will get a free premium one month trial to Skillshare. So like I mentioned, this does work on the 2000 series up to the 5000 series Ryzen APUs. And on the 2000 series, we can actually do a little bit of GPU overclocking but uh, that's about it. On the 3000, 4000, and 5000, it's been disabled. Before you jump into upping the wattage on your Ryzen APU, I would highly recommend only using this on wall power. This has a 45 watt wall charger that came with it. And since we're gonna be adding a little more juice to this CPU here, it's gonna create more heat. Another thing I would highly recommend is some type of laptop cooler. I have a cheap one here, it was 10 bucks on Amazon, and it does a great job. I want to make this perfectly clear, follow this tutorial at your own risk. I'm not responsible for any broken laptops or anything like that. I've personally done this on about six different laptops and a ton of different mini PCs powered by the Ryzen APUs, and I've never run into an issue, but you never know. Another thing I want to mention is, when it comes down to it, there could be a super easy way to get more performance out of your laptop. I've noticed that Dell and Lenovo have started adding a setting inside of their BIOS. And in order to get into your BIOS while your PC's booting, you're going to press a hotkey. It could be delete. On this Lenovo, it's F2. It could be F4, F9. You'll need to do a little bit of research because it is different for each manufacturer. But we need to get into the BIOS. And we're going to look for something called configuration or setup. Again, it's going to be different per manufacturer. This is a Lenovo. So it's the second one over at configure. And from here, we have an option for system performance mode. We have three different options. We can go to battery saver, which is going to be the lowest power that we can get out of this laptop. We have extreme performance and intelligent cooling. With this set to extreme performance, this thing runs at about 22 watts and it does up the performance from the stock configuration, but we can still get more out of it using the AMD tuning utility. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into my game capture and we're gonna jump right into it. 
All right, so first things first, something I always recommend with these laptops is just make sure you're set to best performance mode here with the little battery slider. Um, on most laptops, they've removed the power plan. It's all placed in here with Windows 10 and it will be with Windows 11, but uh, make sure this is all the way over to best performance. Right now, this laptop CPU is at 15 watts. If I open up Prime 95 here, I'll just run a stress test and I have hardware info over here. You'll see this jump up to 14 to 15 watts. And that's perfectly fine because this was how it was designed to run from the factory, but we do want to get more out of this because we can up the performance. And to do that, we're going to be using the AMD tuning utility. I'll leave a link for this in the description. Really easy to use. I'm going to walk you through it. There is a ton of information over here. It works with the 2000, 3000, 4000, 5000 series. I would highly recommend reading through this. It does have some really good information, but in order to download it, we're going to go to releases assets and we're going to grab the latest version as of making this video it's 2.0.5.2 beta 1. so we'll just go ahead and download it i'm going to place it on my desktop for easy access extract so we'll right click extract all just extract it to its own folder so now we're going to go ahead and open up that folder and inside of here, you'll see we have the AMD APU tuning utility.exe. Personally, I like making a shortcut of this. So I'm just going to right click, create shortcut. And I usually just place it on my desktop for easy access. I do recommend running this as administrator. So if you right click, you can go to properties, compatibility, run this program as an administrator. Make sure this is checked, apply, OK, and let's go ahead and start it up. And here it is. Very easy to use interface. As you can see up here, we have that Ryzen 5 4500U. Over on the left hand side, we have some pre made presets, and this is great for getting started. So if you use the drop down, mine's the 4000U series, 4500U, and with this preset, it's going to bring us up to 25 watts. But I personally like going a little higher. So from this preset here, because I have the 4500U, import into custom. Now, if we go over to custom presets, you can see that it's imported all that information over here. Now, none of this is chosen yet, but uh, let's start out here at the very top. Our APU temp limit, 95 degrees Celsius. You can lower this a little bit if you'd like to. Our APU TDP, since we're using that preset, it's at 25, but I want to go to 30. So I'm going to change this to 30. Our long fast boost TDP is also set to 25. I'm going to go to 30 with this. Make sure it's checked. Our long fast boost duration is set to 75. I personally like going as high as we can, which is 3600 with this application. And like I mentioned, when doing this, I would highly recommend using a laptop cooler. Our short slow boost TDP is at 30 and our short slow boost duration is set to 10. You can leave it at 10 or go a bit higher if you'd like to. Power settings, VRM current max, 85 amps. Personally, I don't mess around with any of the memory settings or any of the GPU overclocking settings because this won't work with the 4000 series. So we're still here in our custom preset. Max performance, no boost delay. Update output. And I always save this as a custom preset. So for this one here, I'm just going to go 4500U1. You can name it whatever you'd like. Save preset. And now... We'll just click apply settings. It'll give us a pop-up window stating that it was successfully applied. We can now minimize this application. I'm going to show you that we're now at 30 watts. So let me go ahead and get this up. Remember when I ran this test earlier, we were only at 15 watts. We've doubled the wattage on this APU and we're now at 30 watts, 29.5. I call it 30. And that's really it. You've now upped the wattage on your CPU and it will perform much better. At the beginning of this video, I showed you a little bit of gaming, but I also went through and I ran some benchmarks at 15 watts and 30. First up, we have Geekbench 5. This is at 15 watts, single core 1003, multi 3332. Taking it up to 30 watts didn't net us much more on single core. We're at 1096, but if we take a look at that multi core, we're up to 4876. 
Moving over to 3D Mark Night Raid, 15 watts, total score 10,160, and if we take a look at that CPU score, it's 6,631. But as soon as I took it up to 30 watts, our total score was 11,368, and we jumped from a 6,000 score on that CPU to an 8,000 score. But I gotta say, where this helps out the most is in gaming on these mobile APUs. What you're looking at right now is Dirt 5 Ultra Low Settings 720p at 15 watts. We can't quite hit 30 FPS, we average in around 21 to 22. But at 30 watts, we can actually average 31 FPS, so that's a 10 FPS increase. Same exact settings, we have Dirt 5 here, Ultra Low 720p. So yeah, upping the TDP on your APU definitely makes a difference, and in my experience, it really helps out with gaming. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. All links for everything I mentioned in this video are in the description, and I have to say it again, use this tutorial at your own risk. I would highly recommend being connected to wall power and using some type of laptop cooler. But as you saw, it's actually pretty easy to set up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And like always, thanks for watching.